entrepreneurship is the future. In order to provide services to people in need, we need to figure out ways to be self-supporting. When you get entrepreneurs in a room, there's always some, some crazy energy because people are always trying to problem solve and always trying to figure things out. When you get nonprofit folks in a room, we're always kind of talking about social issues and we're commiserating because we can never get enough. When you combine those two, you get the sort of problem solving energy with an awareness and a wokeness about what is it we're really trying to do and it's refreshing. You had people who were experts, you had networking opportunities, you had a chance to talk to people who uh, were talking about your specific issues around legal, sustainability, around where the mission and money align. So this was an amazing opportunity for people who are thinking about social entrepreneurship or making a social impact. I love okay. to see people being entrepreneurs. I like to hear the ideas. Uh, I love the fresh, the fresh ideas every year. It's just for people to be able to see what's been going on in the social entrepreneurship space and being able to share that with people who are, who've been in the space for a while and who are up and coming in the space. I think it was just a wonderful uh, opportunity just to be able to provide uh, such a summit for these individuals. And I think they're getting a lot out of it based on the feedback that I've seen thus far. I was a tech entrepreneur. I decided to move into social entrepreneurship because what I learned at the first conference that I attended to. So it was life changing for me. You know, as folks uplifted, um, communities of color have actually been entrepreneurship as a, a means of survival. And so I think just hearing folks reiterate that again and again um, made me feel a bit more comfortable. Um, I think being able to bring back like certain plans, different resources, um, different ways that people can build capital. The most significant part about it that I liked is just putting academia and business together and then making it available so it's not just for like Rutgers University students or people who are affiliated but it's for the community. The funding opportunity is amazing because that amount of money can go in a lot of different directions it can really impact a lot of different people and it's always great to be in an environment like this where you can see what so many people are doing differently um, to impact similar causes. This is what it means to be part of this summit. You get to meet people and you get to share your experiences. Interact with people. So I'm really grateful for being here. So I would like to congratulate Rise and Greater Good Strip Store. <laughs> I, I'm so excited. It's something that we're so desperate for for a facelift for our store and for the outside, the exterior, and the interior. To be able to do that with this funding is key for us. So if any of you, like myself, walk out of here angst ridden, thinking, I wish I could have voted for all three. We did.